Hey guys, this is Devin from Nine Feet Under, and I have an announcement to make. Well, two announcements actually. First of all, we just hit 100 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the support um, here on YouTube, on Patreon, and on Instagram. It really means a lot to us. Um, and the second announcement I have to make is this is an unboxing video, which I'm sure you can already see from the description. Um, I just got our black box doll uh, whipple wet, a uh, Nubis whipple wet version uh, from DJ Divas. So here is the really awesome box. Now I already opened this because I wanted to make sure that he was alright. This is my first order from DJ Divas. Um, they have really good reputation though, so I was not all too worried. It came, first thing I opened when I saw the box was this beautiful gilded card that they made. And I'm probably gonna post some more pictures on Instagram. Has a little number and a paw print on the back. I thought that was really neat. I'm probably gonna frame that. So that was really cool. Like they did so well with their packaging, honestly. Like they really, really did. Um, then we have, here he is with his little COA. So cute. <laughs> Now, normally we don't get dolls this small, but honestly, I have been looking for a statue of the Egyptian god Whippoet forever, and I have not been able to find one, except for like museum pieces that cost a lot of money. So whenever I found this guy, I was like, it combines my love for dolls with my combined love for Whippoet. So I thought it was really neat. He comes with this tiny little scepter. That's gonna be badass when we paint it up. I'll put that over the side here get him out. I thought it was hilarious whenever I took him out. He has this tiny little insert. <laughs> it's the shape of his body. His head's gigantic. Oh, his crown's wanting to come off. That's okay. It's not a big deal. When I first opened it, it was actually off of him. I freaked out, but it was perfectly fine. He has the um, snake crown with the Egyptian headdress. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be using this. I'll definitely be painting it up for him for certain photos and outfits, but I'm thinking I might actually go a different route with him. Now, this little guy is like, what, three or, I think it's four or five inches. He has little ball jointed legs that you can bend. Um, it's just single joint. You can bend his arms. Um, yeah, they're single jointed. Um, he has a little tail all the way around a little waist swivel his head well diminutive features now this is one of the most integrated head caps I've seen on one of our dolls so it goes right below his ears and the tiniest little s hook because <laughs> I'm used to the giant three-quarter scale ones so yeah um, and his eyes we got the closed eyed version or sleepy eyed version I think it's sleepy eyed version um i thought it made him look like he was very serious and like about to do something so i liked i liked the um, way the uh, closed eyed version looked and if i ever wanted to i could also open them or make them half open as well so yeah this is uh the unboxing of our little anubis whip away he is the newest addition to our collection and i have a lot of ideas for him um i'm probably going to do like an entirely different thing than normal with him. I'm obviously going to use some of the uh, Egyptian stylings, but I'm going to try to do a more modern punk style. Like, you know, make it a little more nine feet under style. But anyway, that is him. And once again, thank you guys. Um, I'm really appreciative that we we're able to make 100 subscribers. I had no idea we'd be able to so quickly. It really means a lot to us. So thank you so much from me and the gang. Peace out.